know, we got a lot of stuff from New York. As we mentioned every week, we seem to say that, mm -hmm. don't we? Uh, and last week, we did the Buckshot Johnny Andretti cage match, which uh, Terry Labonte didn't want to be a part of. That's correct. Uh, Ray Abraham thought we were serious, mm -hmm. and the rest of the guys thought it was cool. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and you almost got beat up hey, by a chair. Put that, chair, put that, chair, right. put that chair away. He was uh, inaugurated, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, the, yeah, Jesse the Body. Jesse, Jesse the Body. The brain. Jesse the Body Ventura. He's in Minnesota now. Good job, Jesse. Yeah. Uh, but we'll let's take a little Christian approach here, Steve. Okay. We don't usually delve into this that much on this show, but we did ask the drivers uh, in New York um, one particular prayer they might have. This is, this is your little baby here. Mm -hmm. We went and talked to some of the drivers who we thought were the Christian drivers. Mm -hmm. um, we yeah, don't we didn't want to embarrass someone who that's correct. possibly wasn't strong in faith. That's right. Um, well, why don't you take the lead here? Okay. Since you did that. We uh, very simply asked the drivers, what kind of a prayer do you toss up? Because... Basically, what they say about a man is you can tell what's on a man's mind when, when it's the last thing he says to you. Just before you break away from someone, they usually say something to you, and it's usually something that they want to just get out because it's very important on their mind. So I asked these drivers, when you pray, what is the very last thing you pray for? Mm. Figuring that that is probably the most important thing on their hearts. Okay. And this is what they told us. Well, I always, you know, pray for a safe race and just, you know, ask God to, to give me the, the guidance, uh, the strength to, to make smart decisions, um, and, you know, for everything to just go uh, together like clockwork. Now, that doesn't always mean that it's going to happen, but I certainly ask for those things. Uh, but I have been very blessed with, with uh, those circumstances throughout the year quite a few times. But uh, the biggest thing is to pray about safety, you know, and, and, and make it a safe race for all the competitors, for all the fans that are there, and uh, to hopefully put on the best show that we can. Is there a particular Bible verse or verses that kind of stick in your mind while you're racing? Oh, boy. I mean, there's so many that my wife put on my, on my steering wheel there. It, it's hard to just pick one. There's several out of Philippians, out of Hebrews that, that we use, um, even out of Matthew, you know. So uh, we, we go through the Bible you know, throughout the year and, and pick ones that suit each and every race and, and the way our season's going. Uh, my prayers are that uh, God would keep me safe and that uh, whatever good can come out of that day that uh, he'll be honored for it. Do you, uh, do you have any particular Bible verse or verses that kind of run through your mind while you're racing? You know, I don't. Uh, anything in particular, usually a lot of things that run you know, through my mind as I'm racing other than just concentrating on the race are, are probably the some of the last things that are said in a prayer uh, by Max Helton or someone from the MRO staff, and that seems to carry me through each and every race. Safety. S safety. I want to be able to go home to my family after it's over at the end of the day and to be able to uh, represent him well and represent myself and my sport and my sponsor well in uh, uh, difficult times. Uh, we at, In Winston Cup racing, we're fortunate enough to have a ministry that, that travels with us. Uh, they will come by every single week and, and say a prayer with each individual driver before the race. I, I, I kind of let them do the prayer. Uh, I just, I, I, I listen <laughs> and let them do it. I figure they're better at it than I am. And uh, my, my wife and, and some of my team members will get in on it and, and, and the, the guys from MRO and, and, and they end up saying a prayer before every race. Okay, are there any particular Bible verses or anything that kind of run through your mind during the race? No, not really. Um, the races are so intense, and, and, and you're so focused on trying to, to beat the guy in front of you that that that, that uh, that's occupying what you're doing. So uh, there really isn't. Uh, honestly, uh, my my final prayer is uh, uh, just for God to keep him safe. You know, I just I want him to be safe. You know, not just him. You know, I pray for everybody's safety, but uh, just you know, my standard prayer before a race is. Uh, just to have God give me the wisdom to make the right decisions and not let anybody down and, and to keep everybody safe. Now, um, is there a particular Bible verse or verses that you kind of use to, to help you along on race day? No, uh, not really. You know, like I said, uh, you know, I, I, I try not to, to ask for wins and, and things like that. Uh, you know, I just uh, ask for, like I said, the wisdom to make the, the right decisions and to keep doing things that I know that God would want me to do to be the person that, that 
that he wants me to be. You know, I don't, uh, I don't feel I control any of this. You know, I do what what he wants me to do, and I just keep praying that he keeps pointing me in the direction of what he wants me to do. Oh, a little softer side of ITWC, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the Motor Racing Outreach, which was formed uh, as a as a ministry tool in NASCAR, really back in the late seventies by Lake Speed, Daryl Waltrip. And uh, a couple other guys. It was basically yes, the guys that got it was, together. It was more in the 80s. It was when... Uh, uh, late 80s is what I that's meant. That's better. Sorry. I said yeah, 70s. That, I meant it. 80s. Mm -hmm. And um, after the deaths of Alan Kowicki and mm -hmm. Davey Allison really picked up a head of steam. Yeah. And uh, hopefully people aren't using like scare tactics to get yeah. into this right. type of religious uh, type of stuff. That they're actually going there because they feel a purpose in their right. lives to do that. Right. But um, hey, if, if you got to be scared to get into church, then that's so be it. As long as you're there. Um, the motor racing outreach was, there's, there's always been chapel services at races for mm -hmm. many, many years. Uh, and I, Bill Berry was the last gentleman, I believe, I remember uh, attending a lot of his sermons. They're non denominational. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, you know, they let everybody in, yeah. so, which, which is good for me. There's, uh, there's Bible studies that go on in Winston Cup. A lot of the drivers get together Friday nights after qualifying for Bible yeah. study. Yeah. You know? Instead of going out drinking or whatever, they're out there uh, yeah. reading the good book. Absolutely. So. So a little, a little bit, bit of the other side there of what okay. goes on in Winston Cup racing.